Hey folks, it's Jared Manninen from the website TahoeTrailGuide.com. Today I want to talk about doing step turns with your cross-country skis. Now I realize that I've already covered briefly doing step turns back in my downhilling video, the part four of my introduction to classic cross-country skiing, but based on what I introduced in the video that I made recently about doing hockey stops on cross-country skis, I wanted to revisit the step turns. And the thing that I introduced in that hockey stop video was angulation, moving our body in a certain way that gets our skis on edge and makes it so that we don't have to worry about skidding out because there is positive contact with the edges of our skis and the snow that we're skiing over. Essentially, a step turn is gonna be us stepping around a corner, changing our direction. If you remember from my downhilling video, a step turn is not a skidded turn, therefore it's not gonna slow you down. In fact, a step turn is used to maintain your speed while going around a corner or moving around an object or passing a person in front of you and then going around them. They're like an in-between or a transitional technique. They're the things that allow us to negotiate terrain more fluidly, more smoothly. So let's talk about doing step turns. We're gonna be doing something slightly different than what we normally do with diagonal striding. So diagonal striding, we're in this linear position where we're pushing off to the front, right? So in a step turn, we're essentially laterally pushing away or pushing off. We're pushing off to the side. Now this could be a whole paradigm shift for people new to cross country ski. I mean, they're, we're just trying to grasp going forward, let alone going to the side. So this can be a little bit challenging for new people and then knowing where you can land on your ski so that you don't commit too far and catch an outside edge, for example. But essentially the idea of angulating when we're performing step turn, it's not gonna look quite look or feel quite as awkward as when we were angulating when we were doing those hockey stops, but it's still gonna look a little bit funny. But the idea is that I'm gonna drop the shoulder opposite of the direction in which I wanna travel. So if I wanna go to my right, if I wanna make a turn going to the right, I'm gonna drop my left shoulder, which then bumps my hip out, and then it puts my skis on edge. And then from there, I'm just gonna step around the corner. It does, again, looks a little bit funny, like I'm doing some sort of a little cha-cha dance or something like that, but it's super effective and it will enable you to corner at a much higher speed. Now, obviously, go within your limits. You still need to be able to stop on a dime and you can get going really fast, especially if you're going down an angle of terrain that has like a hairpin turn. Step turns and skate turns will enable you to maintain your momentum and, and zip around that corner, but you have to be very dedicated and committed to making that turn because you could go flying out. You don't want to do that, obviously. You don't want to run into anybody. You don't want to run into any trees or any rocks or anything like that. So embrace this angulating posture of shoulder down, hips out, skis on edge, and then push off on those edges of skis as you go around the corners. And when you're performing a step turn, it could be as simple as one step. You may be on a, a trail that's going like here and it's just angling off like 20 or 30 degrees and it may just require one step to the side. And you don't wanna have to stop your momentum while you're diagonal striding, for example, just so you can you know, maintain that turn. So you just make these small little turns or almost correction steps and and remember to stay light and, and buoyant on your skis. Uh, you wanna have this feeling that you can move around without really having to think about it a whole lot. You wanna get that into your body. Another tip that I want you to keep in mind when practicing step turns is to keep the tails of your skis on the snow. I believe I mentioned that in that downhilling video, but again, that's another critical element. We don't wanna be pulling our skis all the way off the ground, stepping around corners. We just wanna draw the tips of our skis up as we're going around, leave your tails on the snow. Last thing that I wanna mention as far as uh, aspect of this particular technique is our concept of which ski we lead with when we're going around corners or making those movements. So imagine that these are my skis and I wanna travel in this direction 
Think of it in this terms. Think of divergent parallel, divergent parallel. If I want to come back to my left, divergent parallel, divergent parallel. The idea is that the ski that's on the inside of this turn, that's going to be the one that's going to be directing our uh, direction of travel. So we're going to lead with that inside ski and then we're going to bring that outside ski parallel to it. And then we'll just keep cutting around the corner or making that movement by initiating with that inside ski and then coming alongside it with the outside ski. This is something that I want you to keep in mind when even just making simple shifts around things, not even doing a full hairpin turn, but just stepping out of the tracks, for example. That was another thing that was covered in that downhilling video. What if you get to a downhill portion of the tracks that seems a little bit too steep for your skill level? Well, just step out. This is the same thing. So we're gonna push off with this outside ski, but we're gonna move divergent and then parallel. Keep in mind when watching all these demos in this video that these are kind of staged and artificial. I wouldn't necessarily ski like this just because it doesn't make sense. I'd rather make the straight line than to add all these little step turns. But obviously what I'm trying to do is demonstrate to be light on your feet and to be familiar with and comfortable with moving quickly so that you can change your direction effectively in order to avoid obstacles or people or whatever that you're skiing through especially if you're in the back country being light on your feet in the back country is ultra imperative because there's always stuff lurking just beneath the snow just around the corner or behind a, a hump of terrain at a groomed cross-country ski area terrain is a little bit more predictable just because there are usually open lanes of trail that you can see ahead and plan your maneuvers again though i can't emphasize enough how fun and valuable learning to do step turns quickly is it's just really important for you to get that technical ability to engage your edges effectively into your body so that you can respond quickly to changing terrain changing environments and it's super fun you know when you don't have to slow down every time you come around a corner So three concepts, angulation, tails of your skis on the snow, and then divergent parallel, moving those skis, leading with that inside ski. Anyway, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out tahotrailguide.com. And if you felt the overwhelming urge to contribute in a financial way to the health and longevity of Tahoe Trail Guide, as well as this YouTube channel, I do have a Patreon account, as well as a PayPal option for sending one-time payments. I totally appreciate all of my Patreon subscribers and the people who tip me through PayPal. You guys are amazing. You help keep the machines running, the, uh, trains on time all that jazz it it really um it really supports my little operation here and one day who knows maybe it'll be a full-time thing i would love it to be but we're taking it in baby steps so anyway take care everyone